We are back, sir, and bigger than ever. I have no idea. Better than ever? Let's find out. I guess we'll see. Here we go. Welcome back to another episode of the Know Nothing Show. Look what you made me do. An episode about Taylor Swift. Yeah, baby. What is happening? Let's do this. What is going on? And fueled by the famous or infamous Lavender Haze. I didn't know this was a thing till this recently. This is a thing. This is a thing. It's a, gr- it's a great thing. It's, it's actually thing. pretty good. But the most important part about this drink is that it is sweetened by Los Poblanos Lavender Simple Syrup. It is fantastic. We use it and quite a few cocktails. I really don't know if there's a better option that you can buy off the shelf here. Los Poblanos knocks it out of the park with everything lavender. Yes. They do yeah. a fantastic job. Smells, Smells glorious. Fantastic. Smells fantastic. We even sprinkled a little fresh lavender from Los Poblanos as yep. well into our See lavender that? haze here. Floating in there. Yeah. <laughs> the floaties. Still good. Yeah. It's fantastic. It, it fits yeah. with the theme of today's topic. It looks, it's just such a wonderful color. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. I will say, we had an option for glitter. Opted out. Yeah, Opted no. out of the glitter. Because there was glitter definitely... in our popcorn last night, and I will get to that yeah. here in a moment. <laughs> well, so without further ado, today we are reviewing Taylor Swift, the era tour cinematic experience. Play the clip, put it right here, play the clip. <laughs> be called the Eras Tour. See you there. What are we actually talking about here? Because I think people can mix in a lot of things here. Are we yeah. going to talk about the actual video that we saw? Are we going to talk about the concert or we're, Taylor Swift? So we're going to talk about the movie that we saw in the theaters video. last yeah. night because okay. the only reason that we're doing this at all is because it was in a movie theater. True. Very that's true. that's why we Absolutely. review movies, and for all intents and purposes, this is a, it's movie. a movie. Yes, sure. It was at a movie theater. Yes. So that's why we're reviewing there was it. A director involved, yep. right? Like, there's mm-hmm. obviously there's producer. I mean, there was I bought definitely... my tickets on my yep. movie club yep. app. Like, I it's, it's a movie. And it was that's, a movie going experience. That's and that's why we're reviewing it. Absolutely. I will say this: I'm a casual Taylor Swift fan. Okay, casual. So I Absolutely. haven't been to her concerts. I don't have any of her albums. Yeah. I enjoy her music when it's on. I don't change it gotcha. when it starts playing. That's a good way I, to put I, it. I could easily yeah. name 10 of her songs off the top of my head. Yeah. I don't know how to tell how what the barrier is if you're a fan or a not fan. No, I think, you, I think you said it perfectly. I just, yeah. You don't seek it out, but you don't change it when it no, comes on. not at all. I mean, that's perfect. And like, yeah. I was the one that suggested we all do this. Yeah. Oh, yo, this yeah. You, t- you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You text us. Yeah. Are we doing this or what? Yeah. So Absolutely. that's, Let's that's just it. where I'm at with okay. Taylor Swift. I'm just like, but because a, you knew we were fans. Fan. Yeah. You knew we were fans. Yeah. I did yeah. it mostly for you guys. And yeah. I was like, oh, this is it's perfect. Yeah. A fun thing to do. So I'm a bigger fan than you. Mm-hmm. My wife and I are pretty heavy in the Taylor Swift uh, whole extravaganza. We like the whole shebang, the whole okay. experience. But. We are not super fans. We are in no way. And we will talk about that okay, later. Yeah. And, oh, that's what okay. I meant to say. Oh, okay. So okay. what we're talking about the movie, but it is going to branch out like insanity. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. It'll be very easy to we'll like. We'll talk about the Travis Kelsey situation. <laughs> like, no, it's going to branch out. It'll, it's going it's it's to very gonna, easy. It's going to hit on the movie, the concert, her, and then just everything in general. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Let's start with the movie. I didn't know, as I told you last night, I didn't know this was... We were just going to go the watch concert. her concert. Yeah. I thought this was like a documentary type situation. Okay. Like, this is how the tour came to be. This is how we selected our cities. This is how we selected our venues. Mm-hmm. This is why we call it the Eras Tour. This was our plan. All that. That's what I thought it was. Did you think that because of the way it was promoted? Or did you think that because that's what you wanted it to be? I just, I didn't know. Okay. So, I got a notification from the from the movie theater like, hey, Taylor Swift, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And I just, I bought nine tickets immediately yeah. without thinking. <laughs> I selected. And that, was, and that was the most. And that was, that, that was it. That uh, was yeah. it. And I didn't go <laughs> okay. back and research it. I didn't watch a trail. I didn't do any research. Mm. So, no, so think, okay. thinking okay. it was a documentary, that came from nowhere. Okay. I just didn't think that they would show her concert 
in this format. I thought you're like, yo, if you don't get to go, sorry. Right. Like, I just thought that's what it was. I thought because the tour got so big and it was making headlines and it was this and that, and it was all the talk of the town for months. They decided. But they're like, oh, let's tell the world why this is the way it is. So okay. that's just what I thought okay. out of thin air. But it was her concert. Yeah. Her last, she said, her last uh, it was the last performance yeah. in America before yeah. she goes overseas. Yes, that's true. Um, Inglewood, California, SoFi Stadium. SoFi Stadium. It was, it was incredible. Sold out. Sold out crowd. It was it was wild. Yeah. Because going into it, again, I thought I was ex- in for one thing. And then to go in and to get a concert yeah. was like a whole other thing. Okay. So being able to sit there and witness it big screen yeah I, the volume was not loud enough for sure Oh, because i've been in that same theater with way louder oh definitely so the theater definitely could have been louder because we saw it in xd yeah so it's not like we no it's not like we saw it in some bum theater we yeah. saw it in a legit theater we saw it in a, in a, but in seeing a large the, format the costume changes the setups the it was a whole production and yeah. that's why oh, this yeah. tour and her concerts have been so great and that's what i enjoyed so much about it is it was always something different yeah. And it was just, it was so joyful. It was, I love music. Well, every time she transitioned to a new era, it did feel like a different it felt concert. Like something different. Yeah. Totally felt different. like a totally yeah. different concert every time. And the thing that I loved, and I loved it so much, Ooh. is that they very rarely showed the crowd. Oh, There was I know. just glimpses yes. here and there just for a few seconds. Yes. Because I've watched these before and they're just like a long shot of people in the front row. Yeah. I don't care who's in the front row. Yes. I don't want to see you. Right. I want to see the performer performing their songs. That was one of my things And for too. two yeah. and a half hours, just little glimpses of the crowd, which is cool. Yeah, right, That's right, That's fine. Right. That's whole, but they weren't these prolonged shots of people in the audience. Exactly. It was just quick things, and then it was back to her for 20 minutes, and then they'd show a little more. But they did these shots of the stadium so it wasn't just her on stage yeah they showed everybody in the crowd well, and it was fantastic the stage I is it was... huge right oh yeah so, was, they're, like, so they're trying to show you the i mean i'm guessing like a 75 yard long stage oh, yeah. or something like that yeah. it was insane it was crazy and it was just it was so much fun to watch it was super joyful i i had yeah. a wonderful time cool man i'm wonder, so happy wonderful wonder, wonderful time. Uh, i wasn't sure how like a casual fan would enjoy it i mean obviously, i mean i was moving Oh, I yeah. Was, I was I like, know, yeah. But we again, stomping your feet, music, right? music moves mm-hmm. me in. I mean, I could say I'm a bigger music fan than movie fan oh. because I can absorb music constantly and I constantly oh. am. Gotcha. I can't watch. I can go days without seeing a movie. Right. I see My house saying. is never silent. Yeah. There's music constantly playing at all times. So I, I can absorb so much music. Yeah. Every day, every single day, all day long. Well, I think a lot of and us I can't are, do that with movies. I think a lot of us are passive music fans. Like we're not always like sitting down with headphones on, our eyes closed. I do, and like doing. Well, I know on a daily oh, basis. Oh, oh, like oh, gotcha. Like yeah. you're not like sitting there on a daily basis because I feel like if you sat down for a whole album with your eyes closed mm-hmm. and headphones on, then you might be yes. exhausted, right? So I'll do that. But like we're for we're, a new album. We're or like something. very active movie watchers. Yeah, where we do sit down. Two and a half hours. That's all I'm thinking about. Yeah. And that can be like mentally. Like, yeah. You can okay, get out like, of a movie and be tired. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then you're like, okay, I, like a couple of days is fine. <laughs> like, Correct. I'll, yeah. I'll be good. For a but while. no, this, this was yeah. a great experience. This was a lot of fun. It was great. Um, yeah. It was fantastic. I wasn't a fan of the lights. I don't, I really, I really don't mind people getting up. Ha- that's fine. Yeah. That's all like go for it. But like having right. the lights is like just bothersome. Well, so like, so I'm going to jump in because I, I also had a really good time. Yeah. I went to the concert in Denver Yes. and it was incredible. And I know people are going to say this and, and it is true, but like the movie going experience was like a 10th, or a hundredth even of what the actual concert going experience is. Yeah, yeah. Right. And and it was and the movie uh, was shorter than the actual concert. Mm-hmm. So I mean imagine forty five more minutes of that whole experience, right? Yep. Except everybody is allowed to stand up, stomp their feet, Correct. sing their heart you know, their yep. uh, hearts out. And it's it, it was a very good experience. I I really enjoyed the movie. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of fun because it is a lot of music that is just fun to sing to. Uh, I had a lot of the similar thoughts that you did, which is I was hoping it was going to be less of the crowd and less focus on like the actual concert that it was Mm. um, because I really wanted it to be more generalized, right? Like it didn't need to focus on 
that particular crowd, like you were saying, like don't yeah. show me shots of that crowd. Like even her talking to the crowd, I probably would have rather them cut to her talking about the song in like her bedroom or something. Right? Yeah. 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 And people may feel different about that because SoFi is like a great arena to sell out and that's a big deal and mm-hmm. go ahead and put that on the marquee. Yeah. And that could, because that's an accomplishment. I just thought we were going to go see like a, here's a concert going experience that we can sort of generalize for everybody, mm-hmm. not go watch one of her concerts that she did one time, right? Like the whole, like you were seeing concerts from the whole tour, not that exactly, not yeah. from that specific thing. So I right? thought it was going to be like cities, like we're flashing, like we're in New York. Uh-huh. And then they yeah. Show yeah. Stuff, yeah. And now we're in and Miami. That's, and again, and that's not stuff. a documentary. I'm not saying I wanted a documentary. Yeah, I, yeah. I did not want a documentary. Correct. I did not want a documentary about this concert, but I thought again, they were going to broaden it a little bit. This was literally one weekend, her last weekend yeah. show. Yeah. That's what they did. Correct. Filmed it and then put it out in movie yeah. theaters. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, great time, fun time. I also feel like knowing Taylor Swift and her fan base, they could have done something like, Hey, these are things that you're allowed to do in this movie. Put your cell phone up on this song, put, you know, sing along to these songs, Mm. do these things in, in songs. And maybe it would have been less jarring for us when we were like, what the heck is going on here? Why are people standing up and dancing and singing? Yeah. Um, but if you just relax and yeah. go with it, then you it, then you have a good time. Yeah, people yeah. had glow sticks, right? People were waving yeah, on the glow like, sticks. Did they bring them with them? Yes. Did they get them? No, I'm they like, bought. They brought them with I'm, them. I'm like still upset. We got <laughs> nothing. For, like they should have been handing us crap at the door. Yeah, but well, that's but, that, but that's what that, I mean, like, right? Like imagine if you not not the not the heiress tour Taylor Swift's fault. That's a movie theater's fault. Yeah, but they, I don't know whose fault that is. But I didn't get anything. But like, uh, like a, when a movie gives you 3D glasses, they could have been yeah. like, "Here's your uh, Eras Tour starter pack." Yeah, yeah, right. Come then. And it's yeah. a, it's a bracelet. It's a glow stick. It's like here it's you like go. a bag of glitter. You yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you yeah. make it like a fun time. Yeah, yeah. And that would have been cool. It, that way, everybody's on the same page. Yeah. Everybody knows what to expect and what's mm-hmm. going on. Yeah, yeah. Because it does feel like a play. It feels like you're watching like a. I mean, you are watching a live performance. It feels like you're watching mm-hmm. a musical. And it's great to interact with it. Yeah. It would have just been cool if we were all interacting. Yeah, we knew what was going on. Yeah, yeah and yeah. then that would have been a really fun time. Yeah. Um, I Again, but I have nothing bad to say about it. It's so much fun. For non-Taylor Swift fans, what do you think? I mean, for non-Taylor Swift fans, I, th- I still think you can enjoy it. Because it's... It, it's, it's just cool it's to see. It's good, right? It's just yeah. cool to see. Yeah. If you're a non-Taylor Swift fan, maybe two and a half hours, 240, 245, Yeah, it's like it was, 245. Would be long. Okay, that's a good point. An hour would, and a half be is long. And again, like... I've, I, don't, I still don't know if I'm a Taylor Swift. <laughs> I, I would say yes. <laughs> I say yeah. I would, I would say, say, I would say yeah. I am, yeah. I'd say you are. Um, but for somebody that's like, yeah, like I guess she's fine. Like They're not going to enjoy this for two hours and 45 minutes. That's a good point. Yeah, they might enjoy long. like the hits they've heard, that's the long. big stuff. Because even us as fans, you know, again, Kat and I, there were eras where we were just less fans of than other eras yeah. right and we yeah, even yeah. told you like hey look see, and everybody left yeah everyone's getting up to go to the bathroom right yeah. now during because yeah one. i mean obviously there's not like they're not all fun and uppity right so which um, is fine which is again they all have a place did you have a favorite performance or one like man that was and again i know you were live but seeing being yeah. able to watch it now um reputation i the uh, reputation era is i think the most fun Okay. 1989 is my favorite album. I wish there were okay. more songs from there, but I think Reputation's the m- one where most people probably get up and dance and yeah, yeah. and have fun with it. Okay. Uh, she's there with her snakes and stuff, and they do they do cool effects with the transitions. Yeah, which is yeah why it's so, a cool experience. To yeah, be it able is. To it watch. is cool. Um, but yeah, I would say Reputation's probably my favorite. What was your favorite? Um, the first one was cool. Oh, okay. What was the first one? Uh, it was the first three or four songs um uh, oh shoot i thought it was lover yes it was is it lover yeah but it's also probably my favorite album too oh okay um uh, my favorite song was i know it's not called champagne showers it's called champagne problems problems yeah champagne i thought that problems. was that one. wonderful yeah I it's thought a that great was song like enchanting yes almost the way she performed that and i it, i think i'd heard it before i don't i don't really remember 
Oh, it's, it sounded familiar, but probably. then as the song went yeah. on, I'm like, okay, maybe I haven't heard this. But that that song was enchanting. Yeah, for sure. it was great. It yeah. was wonder wonderful. Uh, Tolerate it was actually really good too, uh, where she does the long table and stuff and like. Oh yes, yeah. that was that was more play like. Yes, that was more yes, like a yeah, play. yeah, that yeah. Was very cool. Yeah, I thought that was. Kind but of I mean, neat. there wasn't a bad one at all. I mean, I there, thought all no. of it was very wonderful. The dancers were super cool. Yeah. They were really really involved. Dang. Um, I agree. Those backup dancers were incredible, and she spotlights them sometimes too, yeah. which is also fantastic. Like they have their own moments, in yeah. There, which I thought, which was I thought was very great, different. Yeah. Again, like kudos to her. That was that was a really good call. It was so fantastic. maybe you know is this. So now she goes overseas. Yeah. So I'm sure she's got twelve shows, thirteen, fifteen, whatever books. I'm overseas. sure. Yeah, she's gonna go over. Um, when are we seeing another Taylor Swift tour or something like this? So I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring it back around to our filming, uh, our filming atmosphere here. Mm-hmm. I get a little nervous about things like this, about the Eras tour, because it feels very um, Avengers Endgame to me. You're gonna have to explain a <laughs> lot. It feels like the end of an era, right? Okay. And at, after Endgame you wanted it was like you were like you were satisfied right like you got what you wanted out of it yes and then they tried to keep going with marvel after that and nothing sticks okay anymore after that because you are like you your it was cup, so good your you cup cannot, is filled yes yes yeah. you're and it's like because my cup is already full now you're going to release stuff and Nothing else is going to fit at the moment. So you're saying like she'll do another tour and there's like no shot. It's going to be a big deal. I think or she music. Needs, I or... think musically she needs a break after this. Okay. For G- how long? Give that long break. Because Marvel didn't take that break. Well, yeah. And, and, and I know you messing, said cup yeah. is full. But in my head, I thought like, you know, after you eat like, oh, dude, that was a great meal. That was the best meal I've ever had. I'm going to yeah. go home and relax. Yeah. But then you come back with more and you're like, dude, I cannot eat I, anymore. Exactly. Now my meal has been ruined. That's, so exactly that's what right. I was. Thinking that's exactly right. No, it's okay. Exactly. Exactly. Correct. And it's almost like that, uh, that extra food can eat, can be better than what you got full on. Yeah. But it's going to taste bad because you're disgustingly full. Right. So exactly. how long does she need to take, re- take a break for? Oh man. I mean, she's probably writing her album right now. Which is uh, her, you know, she's in her Travis Kelsey era. And so uh, <laughs> I, 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 I would hope from the end of her tour, she gives at least three years. That's what okay. I would hope. And we don't get, but I don't, I, I see her waiting one year and then releasing an album. And okay. then a year later, going back on tour. That's what I think is going to happen. Yeah. So 2024, she finishes her concert. By 2025, we have an album. By 2026, we have she's a tour. Back on tour. Okay. That's, but I wish we would do like another year at least. Okay. I mean, I, I could see that. Okay. I, should I start saying all the controversial stuff? Sure. <laughs> I, I, I will never pay to go see Taylor Swift in concert. Oh, okay. Unless I have a significant other that's like, you, we need to go. I, I will go. Okay. But, he, but here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing for me. Yeah. There's very few people I'm going to pay any sort of money for. To go see in concert. To go see in concert. Very few Interesting. people. Interesting. Wait, so. Very few people. Hold on. I'm going to interrupt you here for a second. Would you pay money to go see like a Cirque du Soleil show? Or like a, a, a Broadway musical? So here's what I'm going to pay money for. Okay. And this is for anything. Yeah. And this is also why I do not go to sporting events. Oh, okay. And this is, so this is all, so let me tie in concert and sporting events together. Well, that's why I'm asking because is this like a general rule of thumb for you or is Pro- it specific probably. to like probably. musical artists? Well, okay. it's kind of specific to any big show. Okay. And like, this is, this is going to be like a douchebag take. Like what are you dropping 300 bucks on? Correct. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So th- this is my take on it. Mm-hmm. If I do not have the best possible seats i do not oh, want to go oh okay. i'm not going i, I am saying. not going to go to sofi stadium and sit at the top yeah yeah yeah. I, i'm not going to go to at&t stadium to watch the cowboys play and sit at the top yeah i would rather watch it at home with a better a view perfect <laughs> tv in the comfort oh, like okay. just perfection okay. but but the, but that best seat is two thousand dollars correct a ticket. correct okay. so now i got to go so now i go one seat up and now it's that much more gotcha okay 
Same, but same. I was looking for Phoenix Suns tickets before we filmed this episode. Oh. I'm like, I don't want to pay $150 to sit on the top. I don't want to do that. Yeah. But what's it? Five rows back. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's too great. So, and I yeah. know people are like, but it's the experience. It's just, I, I, I don't have, that's not a part of my life. Gotcha. Yeah. Going and sitting in line, being with all the fans. Do, yeah. Like that's, I, I don't need that. Yeah. I, I, I just don't. Yeah. You're, you're saying. I, that's not for me. If that's your thing, if you're like, I want to go to every concert ever, I'll sit in the parking lot, which people were doing. People do for people sure. People are sitting in the parking. That's yeah. awesome. I never want to take away somebody's fandom and like their love of something for their team, oh, their, yeah. Yeah, yeah. their sport, their artist, their yeah. show, their anything. Because some of it is just supporting what it yeah, is that, that they're doing. And that's like, dude, yeah. like I am all for that. I, I am just, if I cannot have a wonderful, if I know it's going to be a great experience, I'm sitting up close, I'm seeing the action. For a sporting event, a concert, whatever. Yeah. If someone's like, hey, we can go to Taylor Swift. The tickets are $4,000, but we're like like, like borderline on the pit. I'm like, whoa, what? And yeah. I can afford it at that point in my life? Let's go. That's what you would are do. Are you kidding? So you're all or nothing. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Like, let's yeah. do it. Well, all or nothing. Hey, but we also get VIP parking, a private, like all this other crap you get with VIPs for concerts. There's a lot I'm to like, that. I'm like, oh, let's do this. That's great. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. You can you can elevate your experience so much more if you can afford that experience for yourself. And, and that's what I would like to do. Again, I'm not big enough of her fan to pay four thousand dollars. That's I, rough. I, I would that's get tough, I man. would go to a yeah. Cowboys game and spend four thousand dollars on a ticket because I know what that comes with. Yeah. That's an in, that's a day of being in the box of this and that. And it's not just I'm sitting on the field. Right. I'm have all these other amenities that come with. I don't know. I know some concerts do that. Oh yeah. I mean like for Taylor Swift, like the, the floor was a totally different area Yeah. with food and drinks. Mm -hmm. And like, it was like your own and I, I would do that area, percent. right? Like you, like you don't need to be up there with all the yeah. Joe Schmoes. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. down. You stay here. Yep. We feed you. We give you drinks. All that whole deal. Right. And that's just part of the experience. Yeah. So that's just yeah. where I'm at with, with anything. Okay. okay. I, guess I so have no problem seeing Taylor Swift if that opportunity ever comes, yeah. but I'm going to, I'm going to maximize the going experience. Yeah. I don't need to be at her feet, but I'm not, I'm not sitting at, I'm not spending hundreds mm -hmm. of thousands of dollars to sit in the back row. That's yeah. Sorry, that would be, dude. That would be and nice. I'm not going to do it for anybody. <laughs> I'm not going to do it for Wallen. I'm not going to do it for any of those people. Yeah. Cause you're going to be like, I want to want the best I, experience and, and I, I will can spend afford more money. Yeah. I will spend more more money to get closer and to have a great time. Yeah. And if that's like a bad take and they're like, well, you're not a real fan, then whatever. Yeah. What I saw for 20 bucks in the theater last night was freaking phenomenal. Oh, yeah. And for yeah, me, yeah, a, yeah. as a casual fan of Taylor Swift, it was Swift, perfect for I am you. I'm so satisfied. It was perfect for you. That was yes. great. I got Absolutely. to jam out. That was 100%. Yes. I loved it. That that satisfied my itch to want to see yeah. Taylor Swift. It was like watching her concert if it was televised, right? Yeah, that's exactly. Like, that's like what it was. So same if, thing for a sporting. I was gonna say event. when you're it's watching like, a dude, Cowboys game yeah. and it's televised, you're like, look it, I can see their faces. Uh, yeah, hundred like, percent, yeah. and that's why <laughs> yeah. it's so good. Um, Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, I just <laughs> yo, bro. And I get why they're doing it. I get it. I dude, get it. I'm too. no thing. But here I brought up a little PTSD from when Tony Romo was dating Jessica yeah, Simpson. Yeah, yeah, that's what everyone's kind and of And I'm like, dude, to. what? I like Travis Kelsey. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But, like, you could have gone with a thousand other high, more high-profile players than Travis Kelsey. You know, there's a little meet cute there, yeah. right? Like, I get yeah, it. Yeah. It's like a little love story in and of itself. I don't mind it. People like people like to make big deals out of it. And I'm like, dude, I don't care. The, it, it the is, NFL is making a big it, deal it about is, it. It is wildly annoying during the game, yeah, though. It, it, it is uh, wildly I was, annoying. I, gonna, I don't think anybody would even care a little bit if the NFL just chose to put the camera on the players or the yeah, coaches, yeah. like just, just leave her alone. But it's funny because <laughs> nobody in the NFL knows. So they're like saying stuff about her and I'm like, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah. They Stop have no talking clue. about yeah. it. Talk about no the players. Clue. Yeah. Cause that's what you know. Don't act like, you know, Taylor <laughs> Swift. All of a sudden, because you don't. The, the dude. announcers are trying to, like, yeah. like you're handing them papers. And yeah, like, they're like, <laughs> yeah. And they're like, well, the 1989 yeah. tour generated this much in record sales in yeah. 2013. Shut up. You yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just talk about Somebody the game. handed you a piece of paper with So, the, again, the it's not sheet. Taylor Swift. I don't blame ta no, Taylor exactly. Swift for yeah, any of this. Exactly. It's just annoying. Yeah, so I'm saying the NFL is making it annoying. Correct. And yeah. they need to just stop yeah. it. Yeah. But, again, she's yeah. had an impact on the world that's been – just it's undeniable phenomenal. undeniable when beyonce announced her movie thing i rolled my eyes <laughs> i was like <laughs> okay and that's not a knock on beyonce Beyonce's oh, no, great. but i'm yeah, like beyonce's bro fantastic. come on 
Like, come up with something else. Not right now. Come up Not with something right else. Now. That was super. You actually told me that Ed Sheeran has late. one, and I didn't know that. Well, this was years ago. I know, I, I know, it. but I would yeah. like to go see it. I would like to yeah. watch I'm it. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure you can find it. It was somewhere. the exact same thing. It was a concert. He, but he had a he, Ed Sheeran had a documentary on Netflix, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's not what you're But what I about. saw was a, was a concert oh, at Wembley okay. Stadium. Yeah. It was like a Friday That'd be night. Cool. I would like, to, it was go, super I would like cool. to watch that. And I would like to see him now because he's had so much more music since I 2014 know. when I saw it. Exactly. That's what I was saying. And yeah. he, he's another big artist I would probably pay big money to go see because I, I think he's phenomenal. That. I would love it. But that. I think this for the movie business or movie theaters I think is a very viable option going forward. That's a really well, and good we'll point. We'll see what that's we'll actually see what how it goes with Beyonce. Yeah, that's a good point because if people not turn everybody up has for Beyonce. Then that's great. Not everyone has access. Not everyone has the ability to get in a plane, hop in a no. car, and especially go to where a we thing. live, they don't know. They do not have concerts here. Where she we was live. close enough to us where people could get in a car and drive mm-hmm. six hours and yeah. and see her in concert, mm-hmm. and it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, some people. We, we met people there from Jersey. Yeah, like that's crazy. Yeah, like that's it's across the country. Yeah, like that's that's nuts, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, I understand completely what you're saying. And I think we are going to see if it's a cool thing that happens and we'll see a lot of concerts in the theaters. And, and that's a do. great way to give other people access that don't otherwise have it. Um, we may have a special guest next episode. Oh, we will. We will. We will. And we're going to do And some- we're not drinking no poop. We're just kidding. Yeah, I know. We're not going to do no <laughs> lavender haze here. Yeah. Um, but we have the exciting part about that episode is the topic. We're going to do a best of the last decade so definitely subscribe ring the bell so that you can get notified when that video comes out because i think it's going to spark some debate we're going to definitely have some good conversation it's going to be i'm going to question i'm going to be a yeah. tough list so don't forget i know don't yeah. forget you got to yeah. make it i have my I already have my top of 2023 oh yeah yeah that's coming up too yep that's coming up so lots, lots to go on here. So, so let us know your thoughts down below. IG, yes. TikTok. We'll uh, we'll get All some content out now for you guys. Um, but yeah, if you saw the Eras tour live in theaters, let us know what you thought. Let us know what you think on Taylor Swift, love or hater. Just let us know. I want to know what you think. Give us your opinion. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Later.